Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning in. If you could like this video and hit subscribe and even leave a comment, I would really appreciate it. Enjoy the clip. How did you get on Twitter? What was, were you always on it or? <laughs> we don't have to go back far in the conversation. Michael Girdley, I was buying a building from him, from his fireworks company. Oh, wow. Doing due diligence on him because it was a sale lease back. Actually, we didn't even complete the transaction, so I never bought it. Um, during due diligence, asked for a call with the owner, got on the phone with him and just thinking, you know, I have no idea who I'm going to get on the phone with. Got on the phone with him and was like, this guy is really interesting. Yeah. Like, who are you and where'd you come from? And we ended up talking for like 45 minutes, fascinating conversation. And at the end, he was like, go get on Twitter. Like, I think I had some account that you know, I never even logged into. And that was like towards the end of 2021. So it hasn't even been that long. Found him, found you pretty quickly, and then just kind of went from there. And it's been fun. How's it impacted you and your business? Yeah, it's been great. Um, uh -huh. Added it up the other day. So this is money raised, deals bought through, sourced through Twitter, or, you know, kind of just the volume of business that I've done through relations that wouldn't be there if I didn't have Twitter. And it's 88, well, actually, it's more than that now because we did another one. So we do the math in my head. It's $93 million. Wow, uh, for raised equity? Raised equity deals that we've bought through Twitter, sourced through Twitter, or sold through Twitter. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's a, it's, it's a incredible. powerful tool. If you, so I'm paying the $8, if so. you, if you stay, if you, yeah, I'm, I'm paying the $8, <laughs> if you, if you stay out of the, uh, the dark corners of Twitter and, yes. and know how to use it, it can be uh, super powerful. It does feel like a bit of its soul is gone. I'm hoping it kind of, it can come back around, but we'll see. I think yeah. e Elon's, I never bet against him. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it's, uh, he overpaid. So I think he's got to do some things to <laughs> make it work. I was able to, I could probably, I was able to see the deck on his money raise and like the future of it. And oh, yeah. um, he's kind of already alluded to a lot of this, like potentially to, uh, partnering with the finance company mm. and allowing banking. And yeah, he's got a much bigger vision for Twitter that's way bigger than the way we currently use it. So, well, and there's several Chinese companies that have done that yeah. successfully become kind of the super app. It, well, he's had that super app in his mind since the PayPal days. Yeah. And I think he just announced that he bought like x.com or the yeah. x.com. He's, he's had it since PayPal. He's Correct. owned that domain. So. For, for something yeah. like this. And so here it comes. <laughs> what's most interesting is, you know, their head counts down like 70, 80% and still works. Still works. <laughs> I think that's. Although I got locked out yesterday and could not get back into my account. Oh, I did too. Did you? For okay. like an hour. Yeah. 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 I actually called my IT guy. <laughs> Shane and said, Shane, I don't know, because it was still working on my phone for a little bit, right. but I couldn't get on on, on Google Chrome. Uh, and then, of course, like all things, as soon as he comes to help me, it worked. <laughs> Just his presence. It's like magic. Yeah.